Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another weekend edition of IO Responds. So, I don't know if you guys know this, but we have some new people here on the show, and we've had a lot of people talking about it. Say, like, Met Chat said, yes, more British people. Yay. How do you feel about that? I feel like we are conquering once yeah. again. That's why I'm wearing my shades, because everybody's talking about the Brits. I yeah. feel so like that. They're not mildly offensive to our people at all. Actually, somebody was like, uh, new, new few said, and who is this? and they're referring to you. Oh, well, hello, I'm Rebecca. All right, there we go. So, and we also got, are they both from England? I, ref I assume that they're talking about Danny. From different areas? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, affirmative, we are both from England, but I'm from London, which is in the south, and he is from Melton Mowbray, where they make pork pies. He also said he's from the same place as Robin Hood, Sherwood Forest. Kind no yeah. way! <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, that makes that sense. That explains like the beard and the hair, maybe. Yeah, If exactly. he comes in with one of those hats, I'm just gonna like die. Let's like, encourage that. You know what though, uh, Shiver Gamer also said, I love you already. About me? Yep. Aww. Do you think it's like the accent? Do you think automatically people are like, oh my gosh, it's I the accent? I hope so. so. Maybe. Oh, I, I love you too. Mwah. And last but not least, I guess because we have so many new people working now for us, MB Al Jabari says, seriously, how many people are working on IO? So that's a good question. We're gonna throw that out to you guys. Can you guess how many people work for this company right now? Let us know down there in the comments below. I'm Dave Wapple. I'm Michael McCrudden. And I'm Rebecca Felgate. We have some fantastic stuff in this video. We've got uh, our popular videos were a blister that got popped, as oh, well as some Bart Simpson course. news. Was it a blister in the sun? Ah, uh, what song is that? Do you know this song, Blister and in the Sun? I walk and I strive my stuff and I'm so strong now. Did you, did you, did I'm high as a cat but I just might stop to check you out. Let's have a go out. out. Like, like a blister, blister in, in the, the sun. sun. But we won't pop it because that's gross. Sons. <sighs> you know that song's about masturbation, right? No way. It is. Ooh. Right off the bat, we are going to start with some birthday shout outs. We've got Carlos S. I'm turning 14 next week. Woo! Holy! That was 14. one of my that was one of my favorite years actually. Like that was like one of my favorite years for like a birthday. So like last year? Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much. Oh, come on! Do I look like I'm 14? <laughs> no, you're 15, right? Yeah. No. No. Yeah, yeah. Growing the hair out, you definitely look younger. Oh yeah, definitely. It's first surprise thing. Anyways, what else we got for birthdays? Hector Antonio went on to say, my BDA is October 18th, and I was wondering if an IO response, you can give me a birthday shout out. Well, it's a little late, but happy birthday, happy big guy. Happy birthday. One more for Poopy Pineapple. It's my birthday <laughs> on November 1st, but they refer to it as the 32nd of October. <laughs> Isn't that Mexican Day of the Dead? Oh my god. What? Is it? Yeah. Oh. Um, What's his name? Poopy Pineapple? Yeah. Oh my god. Poopy I hope he doesn't pineapple. get a chocolate cut flavored or looking cake. Poopy. I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Happy birthday, big guy. But Segues into another popular thing in the last video. We asked you guys what we should dress up as for Halloween. Uh, <gasps> Eon Max said Dave should be a giant fish and Mike should be a giant pint of Guinness. Dude, last year. <laughs> what should Rebecca be, guys? Yeah, yeah, I was kind of feeling like I wanted to be a mermaid this year because I have like the red hair and I could be Ariel. I could see it. Like I a could creepy see it. Ariel. I think they're just going with Mike being Guinness because, you know, from Ireland, Irish drinking. Wait, are you his? Irish? Yeah, he's got Irish in him. Oh. My parents are from Ireland. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, his mom has a really thick so accent. So it's more of a racial slur than Yeah, a that's why. <laughs> I don't know why I'm a giant fish. Maybe it's because last year I was a giant banana, but. Oh, that's a good yeah, costume. I love giant bananas. Trust me, when you see a giant banana drinking a beer, it's probably the funniest thing ever. And were you peeled by the end of the night? It was semi peeled. Oh. You, couldn't, you couldn't peel it anymore. It was kind of unfortunate. So right, let's do it. Oh, that guy. Uh, Eon, we talk about say Dave should also be a potato. Also be a potato, like a, like a full potato or like like baked lays potato. a baked potato. What I with mean, like beans and cheese like popping out. Beans and cheese. Yeah, maybe some. Uh, yeah, some. What is it? Cream cheese that they put in there or sour sour cream? Sour That's cream. It. Yeah, some sour cream and some chives as well. Okay, Alyssa yeah. Wynn, she went on to say, Michael McCrudden, an Egg McMuffin, Sandra Matos, a pack of Mentos, and Danny Burke, he can be whatever the hell he wants. That, I love how you're a McMuffin. Is it because of your surname? Is that why? I, well, I think that's where it started. Well, oh. yeah. Matos Mentos, that makes sense. What can we, a uh, Burke, what's, what rhymes with Burke? Jerk. Bark. 
Oh! Bark, 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 uh, bark, bark, jerk. I'm pushing the leprechaun thing, but the jerk is actually. He could just go like a jerk chicken. Hi. Oh! Wow. Danny jerk chicken! Danny jerk chicken. I love it. I love, it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Dream Cody said we should be the characters off Mean Girls. Ooh, Shotgun Regina. Oh, I guys haven't seen Mean Girls. This, what? I know, I haven't seen Oh mean my girls. god, I'm gonna uninvite you from my life. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> Facebook is just off and now life is complete. I didn't Ow. know you could do Which that. Which one's Regina? Ow. Is that Lindsay Lohan? Um, no, that's Rachel McAdams. So she's like the leader. I wanna be Lindsay Lohan, I wanna be the big hoe. Oh. <laughs> you wanna be, no, but the big hoe's Regina. No, okay, who's the dumb blonde one? Oh, um, that's Amanda Siegfried's character. Um, I can't remember, yeah, but she can that. she can tell when it's gonna rain from her boobs. Oh, I'm in love with her already. Do they <laughs> quiver or something like that? That would actually be good power to have, you know, when it rains, you just burn. But, or you could just open the window and see when that's it's true. raining. That's true. Uh, we got Osa701. Danny should be Chucky, the killer in Child's Play. That freaks me out. I, I yeah, think you'd be I, good at that too. I could see that. Man, I saw, what was it called? Poltergeist the other day? That movie is freaking creepy. Like when they come out of the TV and yes. get her. Maybe we'll come out of the TV Thank you. and get you. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Pixie Perfection, Sandra and Sasha should be queens, and Michael and Dave should be their crowns. Or they could be Monster High, and also Danny should be the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Another racial slur. <laughs> but he's not Scottish. He, well, I, I know. I'm just assuming from the UK. But here's the thing is, if he was the Loch Ness Monster, would he just be invisible? Because nobody's ever really seen the Loch Ness no, Monster. He, he would just be like, he would be, some, he would be just emerging from the water. Yeah. So if that could be encapsulated. So how, how would he do that? Would he have like a flat thing over top of his head and like just a, yeah, like a log or something I mean, sticking out? questions. How do we do that? Yeah, that is a really hard costume. And uh, X Primes went on to say, Mike should be a lumberjack. I've actually gone as that in the past because for me, it's a no brainer. Yeah, Mike, in another life, maybe back if it was like back in the 18 or early 1900s, you would have been a real life lumberjack. I feel like you rock the lumberjack fashion. I mean, we've got some torn jeans here. Look at this beard. beard. And you were just wearing like a plaid shirt a second ago. Oh. So. And finally, we have uh, some fella talking about his dad working at uh, Medieval Times. Uh, what? You got a gig in, in New Jersey. I don't know. I thought it was funny. Not for Halloween. That his dad just works there. <gasps> oh, that's I, nice. That's cool. That's pretty cool. I, I actually like applied to work there once. Really? Yeah, yeah. Being a knight, right? Yeah. I think he told me. Oh, I see you more as like a guy who sits down and eats a lot of chicken and drinks mead and bangs stuff. Well, it's better than me. It's the yeah. guy that has to clean all the pig what food. What banging? <laughs> What's that banging stuff? I meant just like banging your drink on the table. <laughs> Rather than like She's a only wench. been here a week and she has me all figured out. <laughs> so big news this week, guys. Bart Simpson is going to die. Not once, not twice, not thrice, but a hundred times Whoa. in a Halloween episode of The Simpsons. Simpsons producer Al Jean has not only announced that Bart is going to be murdered, but who's going to murder him? For any Simpsons fans out there, no prizes for guessing it's Bart's greatest nemesis, Sideshow Bob. This guy has been trying to kill Bart in every way possible for the entire 26 years of the show's history. They're going to kill him more than Kenny in South Park. Oh my goodness. So we've had some comments on our Bart Must Die video. And um, Eggplant Wizard says it's going to be one of those Tree House of Horror episodes. Mm. So Bart's going to live. Yeah, it's He's got to kill it off figured. A main character. Yeah, um, I'd mean, be really upset if they got rid of Bart. Like, you'd be stuck with Maggie and Lisa. Yeah, Ugh. Maggie's kind of lame. I don't know. Maggie, she's done no harm. She's an innocent. She <laughs> shot Mr. Bird. Yeah. He's mean, though. Uh, like, he he had it coming. He you know? had it coming. <laughs> um, so, also, more comments from Deshwan Swag, nice name. Ooh. He said, this is like Family Guy killing off Brian. Ooh. I never saw that. Did they actually kill him off and he's no longer in the show? Or he, he died for the episode, but then all of a sudden then he, he was back. back. Oh. Because it's magic. Yeah. Yeah. The rejuvenation it's skills. like Star Trek all over again. It is, right. I mean, a lot like that. <laughs> um, Rock Motion, Wiggly Line Ryan W, says, my favorite character is our reptilian god, Leafy. What is that about? I'm like a pretty Simpson enthusiast kind of guy. I've never uh, heard of these reptilians. Are they no. in a cult or something? Are they like the Stone underground hunters? crab people in South Park? Or is like, yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen them either. Whew. Way over our heads. All right, let's continue. Um, Shiver Gamer says, I love Maggie. See another Maggie fan. No, she didn't say anything. But she doesn't, yeah. She's been young for too long. Remember when they're like, oh, she's finally getting a tooth and she's going to talk? Like, yeah. yeah. Haters going to hate. Like... She has the eternal youth. She's a baby. I hate that baby. I'm <laughs> jealous. I'm, yeah. You know, f 
that baby. You just need to. Oh, wow. I'm going to take those glasses off you in a minute. They're making you insane. Uh, so, Travis France, who incidentally has the best YouTube picture I've ever seen, it's a duck banana, <gasps> says, also, my favorite character is the reptilian brotherhood. What is this? You guys what? blow my mind. You, we really got to catch up on our Simpsons. Like, yeah. it's been a while. But, I know. Yeah. And Man of Jelly 5 says, I like Milhouse and Ned. Uh, I love back. Milhouse! And, I oh, love and then, then he says, no, I like Homer. Uh, I like when Homer rips kidding. on Milhouse. That's my favorite yeah. thing. He's like, that kid is so just good. a wiener. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ava Duggan is a big fan of Quickie Mart owner Apu. That's no pretty good. Way. Who needs the Quickie Mart? I've always been more of a of Chief Wiggum sort of guy. He's good. Yeah, Chief Wiggum? I like yeah. Gil, the guy who's always down oh, on his luck. God. Oh, God. My this. wife's going <laughs> to leave me. Bye, my hot plate. Oh, Mr. <laughs> Mrs. Krabappel? She's a hun. She's dead. Yeah. She died. What? What? Or that, no, the voice actress quit. That was uh, it. That was <laughs> it. Axed, axed. <laughs> and Aiden Nation says, am I the only one who doesn't watch that? I think so. Also, our most popular video of the week was about this pop blister. For this young man, his blister was the result of work. He is employed at a car wash, and he put his hand on some steaming hot equipment. And it eventually blew up his head into this beautiful blister you see here today. What do people have to say? Well, baseball buddy said, I got a blister on my big toe before playing soccer in sandals. Never again. Who plays soccer in sandals? Uh. You just don't. Do it. In England, we just call it football. Yeah, I guess True. so. Right. So, but on top of that, Nico uh, Meller said, if someone has gotten a blister, they need to go outside. Just oh, they're not living a hard enough life. Oh, I got you. Oh, I see. Oh, I okay. thought they meant they're just going to be ejected. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Uh, but Mana, Mana, or Mana Fan says, it's unusual to remove this skin after a blister has popped. Yeah, because okay, so basically this thing was the size of a guy's palm, and they just started cutting away with scissors. Oh! After like they squished out the liquid, and it oh. gushed for like three minutes straight. It was basically like going to the bathroom taking a pee. Oh that god, that's so, dis so disgusting <laughs> that I think Sanya Quinnell, or I can't pronounce this, is saying the exact same. Pink lemonade shot out of my nose while watching this video. Yeah. Oh. Well, this is yeah. pink lemonade. It's I mean, one of those videos good. where you click it and you go, why did I do that? I <sighs> know, like I do not want to see an oozing blister. I just don't. To be real though, Isabella Hill says, how can people like popping blisters? It hurts when you pop it. There's a bit of relief. Yeah. I, there's a bit of relief you get from like it. It's you, not like popping a zit where you're like, oh, thank God, there's the pus. See, thank it's kind of like you a can't big walk around for the rest of your life with like a big like <laughs> bowl on your hands. So. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't. It wouldn't fit in well at IO. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's all we got for you in this episode of IO Response. Be sure to leave all your comments down below. Halloween is approaching, so be sure to let us know what else you think we should dress up as. And, of course, be tune, tune in to the videos next week because we're going to talk more about Halloween. You guys, we're going to do a costume competition and all that sort of jazz, just like we did last year. But thanks for watching, guys. I'm Dave Wobble. I'm Michael McCrudden. And I'm Rebecca Felgate. And, you know, what? we're just going to get the heck out of here. I'll Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Oh. Fabulous. I, I just stay here. You just stay here yeah. on the sofa. Excellent. That's how he does it. Ah. <laughs> uh.